Hi, this is Tony. Just calling to let you guys know I'm here. I found your instruction list and everything looks good. I'll call again tonight after work. Hope you have a great anniversary trip. Hello there, this is Tony again. Checking in for the evening. Guess I missed you while you're out celebrating, right? Anyway, things are fine here. Peanut's doing great. His morning bowl was empty when I got back, and nothing around the house was torn apart. Nice to see, since Fred and Winnie's dog would go mental when they would leave him with a sitter. Peanut likes to stand on the sofa, looking out the window, but I can cheer him up with one of his toys and play for a bit. He also took his meds like a champion, though, admittedly, the peanut butter helped. Also, thanks for loading the fridge up beforehand. You got the good stuff, too. I'll down some dragon's milk in your honor on your actual anniversary. Hi, it's Tony again. Hey, do you have a cat you forgot to tell me about? I keep hearing noises coming from upstairs that sound like a little animal rummaging around. But when I go to look, nada. Is it shy? I bet it's shy. Peanut doesn't seem to care for the noise, but he calms down when it goes away. Also, did you get rid of a bunch of leftover containers? I was going to use some for my work lunches, but the cabinets were empty when I looked. No big deal, I just thought I remembered there being a bunch. I'm seeing lots of nice pictures on Facebook. Milk that cruise for all it's worth. Seriously, I know those aren't cheap and you guys deserve it. Oh, looks like someone wants his dinner. Talk to you guys later. It's Tony. You might have an infestation here. Sorry to be the bearer of bad news on your anniversary, but I'm hearing a whole lot of weird noises upstairs. I still can't find anything when I look, but it's definitely there. Peanut is starting to really not like it, too. Before he would just bark a couple of times and let it go, but now he'll growl for minutes on end. This place isn't haunted, is it? I'm honestly hoping for that instead of an infestation, because that could at least be cool. An exterminator bill, not so much. In other news, happy anniversary. Peanut, want to come say hi to Mom and Dad? Peanut, come here, boy. Eh, he's busy. Still, we both send our love. You can't see this, but I'm toasting you with dragon's milk as we speak. All right, good night. Peanut's gone. I don't know where he is or where to look. He's not coming to his bowl for food. I've started printing out missing animal posters and hanging them around the neighborhood, but honestly, how could he have gotten out? The doors were locked and everything. There were no obvious holes, no broken windows, even in the basement. I'm sure he'll turn up, though. He's a spirited little guy. I'll keep an eye out and let you know. By the way, I found all your leftover containers. They were in the basement of all places, in a cupboard over the washer. Why would you keep them there? Anyway, I'm taking a day off from work to keep an eye out for Peanut. Also feeling a little bit sick, so not going into the office sounds excellent. I'm sorry to bear more bad news, but it'll work out. We'll all laugh about this later. Also, would you mind responding to my messages? I can see you're having a blast on Facebook, but I haven't heard a peep out of you in reply to my updates. Give me a call, please, if only to ease my nerves a little. Hi. It's Tony. This is going to sound really weird, but I need to tell you, okay? Just listen to the whole thing. <coughs> the Tupperware containers are alive. And before you ask, no, I'm not high. Never touch the stuff. <clears throat> I came downstairs to do some laundry and saw that cabinet was open. There were containers and lids everywhere. They were filling the cabinet to bursting. They were all over the floor. And they even managed to get into the dryer somehow. The door was open and everything. This was confusing, but then it got scary. I went to start cleaning them up. And they growled at me. No, I'm not making this up. This is not a prank. The Tupperware lids growled at me. One of them even moved. Just a little, an inch or so. But it moved right toward me. I ran the heck out of there and shut the door behind me. I tried calling 911, but when they answered, I clammed up. I mean, what was I going to say? that I discovered little plastic monsters filling up my best friend's basement while they are out on a trip. <laughs> so I tried to think of a plan. Then the, basement's, then the uh, basement door started to budge. 
Those freaky little things were climbing the stairs and trying to barge right through the door. <laughs> I mean, that's just stupid, right? Right? They figured out there was enough room for the lids to slide under the door. I tried to shove them back down, but when the door opened fully, <coughs> they fell on me. It hurt. I don't know how they did it, but those containers and lids started biting me. <laughs> I managed to get back up, stomping and shoving away at them. Must have scared them, because they bolted. But they went all through the house, out of the basement. I ran downstairs, shutting the door behind me. I've got the gap under the door, stuffed up with a towel. Hope that'll hold them off. I've called the police, and they have people coming. Told them it was a break-in, and I'm trapped in the basement. <laughs> and I'm really not feeling good. This isn't sick. This is from those things. I know it. Maybe their stupid little bites have some kind of venom. <laughs> Listen to me. Plastic leftover containers with little fangs. <laughs> like a cotton mouth. <laughs> or a Templar rattler. <laughs> That's what happened here. Don't believe any kind of bogus news report they do to cover it up. You guys deserve to know what really happened. Why Peanut's gone. <coughs> he still hasn't shown up. They have to be the reason. I hear more noises. They're coming. Oh crap, they're coming down. Gotta go. Bye.